hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'll show you the solution for the pre-release material october november 2018 i hope you have read the pre-release material we will be covering task one in this video registering to take part write a program to set up arrays to store the data for 20 children on registration each children must be allocated a unique identification number of four digits the last digit is a check digit the unique identification number age and years and name of each child is recorded and stored on registration the personal best time and the number of runs are initialized to zero and these values are stored on registration their personal best time is stored as minutes correct to two decimal places now let's see the solution for this you start with the task one and I'll zoom a little bit. Okay. We declare arrays for age, child name, registration number, number of runs. All are 20 because we have to enter the details of 20 child children. Personal best time is declared as float because it's a decimal. Now we start with a for loop. For i is equal to 1 to 20, we have to enter the details for a 20 students, so therefore we will run the for loop 20 times. First input age, we will input the age for the student. Here is the if statement, if age is less than 4 or age is greater than 14, then this repeat until loop will be executed which means that the age is not in the range and therefore we will output this is not in the range please enter age between 4 and 14 and we will take again input for the age and then we will check if the age is in the range if it is in the range it will get out of the loop and we have end if then we will print enter the name of the child and we will take the input by for the child now this part is for generating a unique registration number and a check digit I forgot to declare the constant I'll declare it now it's integer constant equal to 1 2 3 it can be any number remember we have a 3 digit registration number and a check digit digit 1 we will divide the constant by 100 and this int is mean we will take the integer part of it only we will take this in digit 1 then we have a temp pawn variable which will be digit 1 will be multiplied by 100 and we will take this in temp one. then we will subtract temp one from constant and we will put in temp 2 for digit 2 we will divide temp 2 by 10 and take the integer part of it for digit 3 we will take the temporary 2 divided by 10 and take the remainder this is done by the function int temp 2 mode 10 we will take the integer part of the temp 2 and the mode 10 means divided by 10 and take the remainder part now we generate a check digit. We multiply digit 1 by 3 and add digit 2 multiplied by 2 plus add digit 3 multiplied by 1 and mod 10. Mod I already mentioned mod 10 means divided by 10 and take the remainder. Then we may we now take the registration number. We multiply the constant multiply by 10 plus check digit constant is equal to constant plus 1 we now increase the constant by 1 so if the loop runs again if this for loop runs again we have the constant increased by 1 so if for the first time it's 1 2 3 if the second time it will be 1 2 4 and the calculation will be unique now we initialize the number of runs to 0 personal best to 0 and we will print the child name registered successfully so like if uh, we registered a child name Ahmad it will print Ahmad registered successfully 
and then in the next line we will print registration number is comma registration number i which will print the registration number and loop ends here next and it runs again and the same procedure is followed at the end integer constant is increased by one and a new calculation is made for the registration number and the check digit we are done with the zero code now let me show you my visual studio code it's the same concept so I declare all the variable arrays first personal best is declared as decimal in visual basic because it's a decimal and here I declared all the digit 1 2 3 and temp 1 temp 2 and check digit here our power loop starts and then it's the same asking for the name and taking the input and then our do loop and checking if the age is in the limit if it's not asking the user again and then the same calculation for our registration number and check digit and initialization of number of runs and personal best and outputting the results now let me run this program to show you here I run the program and it's asking the child name I'll give the child name as John and it's then asking enter child age I'll enter a value not in the range to see if it uh, takes the input I'll enter the age 18 which is not in the range and it has given me the output age must be between the range of 4 to 14 and asking me the age again now I'll put our age in the range enter 7 and it has uh, output John registered successfully registration number is 1230 enter child name and it's asking for the second child name it means the loop has started again and it will ask for this 20 times and 20 children will be registered and each time the registration number will be different I have uploaded the solutions on my website you can go to my website I post the link in description and you can also read the previous scenario and uh, here you can download the pseudo code and below it has a visual basic code which you can copy and directly paste in your visual studio thank you for watching my video i hope you understood the solution if i have done any, any mistakes please comment down so we can improve the solution thank you for watching